In this video, we will unbox and demonstrate the LEGO Power Function Set. Let's start by sharing some of the views of the box. Here's a little background information about this set. LEGO Power Functions is a legacy platform that was used to add movement to LEGO. This LEGO set is 8293. The age range on the box is 9 to 16. As seen on the box, batteries are not included with this set. The set does require 6 AA 1.5 volt batteries. Now let's open the box and unbag the components. These components may also be referred to as elements. In this view, we can see the components without the bags. As labeled on the box, this kit includes a battery box, motor, switch, and lights. As seen, the kit also includes LEGO Technic pieces. These are axles, gears, and universal joints. In this view, we can see two of the larger gears with 24 teeth. The gray gear is a standard gear and the white gear is a clutch gear. We'll demonstrate and explain the difference between these two gears toward the end of the video. In this view, we can see the battery box. On the side of the battery box, there is an electrical connector. There's also an LED to indicate power and a three-way switch. The dark gray covers on the top and the bottom of the box are removable to access the battery tray. Now we'll look inside the battery tray before we insert the batteries. In this view, we can see one side of the tray. On this side of the battery, let's look close to the edge under the curve of the box. We can see this area is missing a vertical tab so you can access the battery. Let's look at the tray on the other side of the box. On this side, we can see the vertical tab because the battery does not have to go all the way to the edge under the curve. Let's insert the battery starting with the one closest to the edge under the curve. The battery tray holds a total of 6 AA batteries. With the box turned over, we'll insert the remaining batteries and close the cover. Since each battery is rated at 1.5 volts, the total rating for the voltage is 9 volts for all 6 batteries. With the batteries installed, let's test the three-way switch. The middle of this switch is the off position. As seen, when the switch is on, it is indicated with an LED light. This light is between the switch and the electrical connector. Since it is a three-way switch, it has two on positions. The arrows on each side of the switch indicate the on positions. The arrows also indicate that when turned on, the switch can reverse polarity. Let's plug in the motor to demonstrate this. The electrical connection of the motor can connect directly with the battery box. We can see that the motor is spinning when the switch is in the on position. Now we will add an axle and gear to help with visibility. Keep in mind that reverse polarity means that the switch can reverse the direction of the electrical current. When the direction of the electrical current is changed, the direction that the motor rotates will also change. This kit also includes another switch. We'll call this the component switch. We'll connect the component switch directly to the battery box. Next, we'll connect the motor directly to the component switch. As seen, we still need to use the switch on the battery box. You'll notice the motor is not running because the component switch is in the off position. Because the battery box is off, the motor is still off even if we try to use the component switch. So to make the motor work in this configuration, we must turn on the switch at the battery box and the component switch. Because the component switch is also a three-way switch, it changes the direction of the motor as previously explained. Now we will demonstrate the lights. We will start again by connecting the component switch to the battery box. Next we will connect the lights to the component switch. In a configuration similar to the motor, the lights are able to turn on and off. Here's another view to try to make these lights a little more visible. Now we've seen both the lights and the motor work individually with the component switch. Let's see if they'll be able to work while both are plugged into the component switch. We'll connect the motor over the top of the lights on the component switch. As we can see, both the lights and the motor can work together with the component switch. With the switch turned off and everything disconnected, we will remove the batteries. As seen, the batteries are very tight in this box. To remove them, I used a pick tool and then a very small flathead screwdriver. Also worth noting, the battery covers slide on and off easily. These two LEGO Technic gears were included with a LEGO Power Function set. Both of these gears have 24 teeth. 
Let's discuss the differences between these two gears. To start, we will insert the axle into this gray standard gear to allow me to spin it. As you would expect, the gear is rigid and spins with the axle. Next, we will insert an axle into the white clutch gear. When rotating the axle, the white clutch gear will also rotate. By holding down the gear, we will demonstrate either a huge difference in torque or if the gear itself was bound up on something. In this scenario, even if the clutch gear cannot move at all, it allows the axle to continue to rotate. When considering the LEGO power function set, this means that the clutch gear is a safety mechanism. If for any reason the gears get bound up or locked, the axle and motor can spin freely. This could help reduce stripped gears or overheated motors. Also, with the axle and motor still spinning freely, this gives a person time to switch the motor off as usual. Thank you for watching.